It's not an EU. <laughs> it's not an EU. <laughs> oh. Well, I was thinking Eureka. <laughs> That's an EU. Europe. <laughs> Europe. European. <laughs> European through your urethra. <laughs> yeah. Hi, and welcome back to No Strategy Guide. This is Corey and Ed for another exciting adventure in in Chow World. In Chow World, yes. We don't know so why we're here or why you're here for that matter, it's but we're grateful wartog. for it. Look at its nose. It's a warthog. It's a uh, little pumba. Fine. I'll, I'll accept your Come diagnosis. here, bird. Also be a pumba. A pumba. A pumba. Look at the ears. And the tail. It's a little Pumba. Okay, let's try to actually feed all the animals this time. No. I don't know if they've been getting... Here, have a melon. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> Here, other idiot. Have another melon. There you go. Bye. Ugh. Same Those just. things disappear. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Shut up. <laughs> What? But... I brought it down from space. Do you like it? <laughs> no, he stole it from the banks. <laughs> All the banks. He All the banks it. have mechas. What's the point yeah. of owning a bank if you don't have a mecha? This... In Sonic Land, every military is mech-based. Because they're so fucking useful. Such... Such an intelligent design. Control! Oh, dang. Haha, <laughs> idiot. What's that? You're slow? Oh, God. His, his eyes conforming to his giant sphere head is just, like, so, so disturbing. Farewell. Haha, <laughs> you're under arrest. Pyramid. Egg quarters. Find the three gate keys. Are you a secret agent? What? Guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Who are you talking to? Herself, like every intelligent person does. Actually, there are studies suggesting that that's a sign of high level intelligence. Good. Supposedly, it helps with problem solving. There's actually one of my favorite things. Get. Um, Good, because people keep mocking me and I'm tired. You were. <laughs> um, did I. I just killed Gamma. There's another Gamma. I killed him too. Boom. That tiny purple bear. But, um, anyway. Yeah, there's... Studies about, uh, talking oh. to yourself. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, stop. Why? Yeah, <laughs> it's... You, uh, you make the information external to your own mind, which allows you to analyze it better. One of my favorite... Th Ooh, boots. Pink nails. Those aren't Pink boots. Pink nails. They can dig into the ground or walls. Select dig in the action menu. But, um... Okay, so there is a key... Okay. No? Oh, so it's probably in here? Yep, there we go. But yeah, by externalizing data like that, your brain can analyze it better, which allows you to, to problem solve easier. There's a one of my favorite things on the planet Earth is called rubber duck uh, debugging. When you're coding a website or something, one of the most useful things to do on the planet Earth is to have a rubber duck at your desk. And if you encounter a problem that you can't figure out how to beat, pick up the rubber duck, look at it like it's a person, and try to explain to the duck what each part of the code is doing. As you're explaining it, because you're slowing down and looking at it as if you did not write this code, um, you will most likely find the answer to your problem. 
Huh. Do you encounter many problems when you drive? Because you have two rubber ducks in your car. I don't encounter too many problems when I drive. They're just a comfort. <laughs> just in case I do. <laughs> They're actually there because uh, Ellie got them for me for my birthday. Or Christmas one year. I think it was Christmas. It was either Christmas or my birthday. It was some... Did I get a rock? You got something. Yeah, skull or some shit. Okay, cool. But anyway... It was some sort of gift. Um, she got me these two pirate rubber duckies that are now on the dashboard of my car. Uh, they are the captain and the first mate. Oh, fuck you, monkey. Um, the captain has only moved once. And the, the first mate, for whatever reason, won't move if there's any sort of like... Like, say I take a corner going like 50 miles an hour. He won't move at all. If I turn that exact same corner going like 20 miles an hour, so like when you really shouldn't have to worry about that at all, uh, all of a sudden he goes flying off the dash and into the into the passenger seat. The captain oh. only moved once, and I'm still convinced that he actually just got confused and thought he was the first mate. Because <laughs> he, he had not moved up to that point, and he has not moved since. He is just, he stands his ground like a good captain. Damn straight. Yeah, like at some point. Ooh. At some point, I may get a new car, but the duckies will be a permanent fixture on any dash that I have. I thought you were going to say the duckies are going to get buried with the old one. No. They're going to go down with the ship. Why am I burying my... Why am I burying my car? I don't know. Maybe in a crusher. I don't know. No. I don't want to... It made sense to me. Oh. Just got knocked over by a ghost. Oh. Okay. Actually, there's a, there's a thing on that. Uh, pedestal that you're on. That becomes important later. This thing? Yes. I found a skull back here. Do I need to put the skull on there? No, you need a... Uh, I just... Now that you've unlocked digging tools, I now remember that you need to unlock shit in this game. <laughs> and one of the things you have to unlock is the ability to... You get, like, a flute or some shit that you play at those things. Sleeping under a coffin. Me? You go away. Okay, I'm getting close. There we go. So we need one more key. These creepy scarab bug robot things are not my friends. I don't like them. Does everything have to be your friend? Yes. I'm so needy. <laughs> Blackbird in the shadow. Ooh. In, in the, the shadow. shadow. Blackbird. Get on the Come wall. On. There we go. Fuck that bird. Get inside of it. <laughs> Jiggle them boobs. <laughs> Turducken. That's what it's called. I was thinking of what it was when a bird went inside another bird. Ooh. For whatever reason, my brain was just like, turfucking. Turfucking. <laughs> I was like, that would work. Turfuck it. But no. <laughs> Show world! Hooray. Yay. Um, yay. Round one. That one. Oh, I know. I was looking to see if any more doors... Oh. No. You skunk! Can't. Skunk! Come here and be part of the ghost. Skunky ghost. Is that you? That's you. Eat the skunk. Oh my goodness, what? Do you have a... You have a pompadour. Damn straight. It's amazing. Well, if you give him the eggshell, the top part, he might put it on his head. Here, idiot. Add this to your pompadour. Nope, nope, that's mine. Doesn't give a shit. 
Okay, uh, purple bear, you're coming over here. I think that's going to give him claws. Maybe feet. Sweet. Well, nothing, nothing that will ever get rid of the ghost feet. Sweet. I like this guy. Come here, Harambe. You are, oh. <laughs> you poor unfortunate creature. <laughs> you just... Oh. oh, you have issues, my friend. Eh, they'll figure it out. <sighs> Saving chow data. Chicka, 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 chicka. Chicka, chow. It's a space, space transporter. How do you know? Destination has been set to because that's convenient plot devices. <laughs> Millions of dollars <laughs> clearly spent all in the writing room. Obviously, and the voice acting. Of and the voice acting. And whatever was left over was spent on animation. <laughs> Only barely. So this is the space colony. Ugh. Lord knows that the programming the gra and the uh, graphic modeling is all done for free. <laughs> oh god, Eggman, I didn't miss you. Whee! Seriously? Yosh. I can just suspend my giant robot on my just like by my hips and it doesn't matter. Yore. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Another baby Wartog. So that you can turn into another robot killing machine. Sweet. Cause that's what you do. What the fuck? What? It's a switch. Go look at the door. I was going to say, I can't. The camera won't let me. Onward! Whoa. Um... Um... Logic makes sense there. Okay. Why I like these uh, beach ball styled uh, switches. Yeah. Not sure why that's necessary. All the other doors just walk up, just open when I walk up to them. Well, it says first it's establishing a mechanic. Hey, these things look like testicles. These things are switches. Let's Rub make it them. Let's make it blatantly obvious so that you can make testicle jokes clearly. Yeah. <laughs> What else would you do? I don't know. Just accept it as a white ball that needs to be pushed. You're, you're not going to go anywhere with no. that? No. <laughs> Hell not. <laughs> now. Sure, sure. Yeah, boy. Now I think I can do the double jump. Yeah, finally, yo. Yep. Something I could have used really, really hard in the sand level. Well, now you can have it in the sand level. I don't need it in the sand level anymore. Because the sand level's over. What if you want to do S rank? I don't. What? But, but you got to complete it all and prove that you're the super bestest at everything in this game. No, I don't. Uh, okay. I think we're past that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we've given up on this dream. Let's get on. Everything will be okay. Will it? Will it really, Ed? If you got on the elevator, everything will be okay. I didn't think that I had to prepare for the contingency of you just leaping the fuck off. I didn't leap. I was trying to I was trying to freaking target things. And it won't target unless you are moving. Excuses. Excuses. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining us. That's another episode of Sonic Adventure 2. 
Uh, we'll continue next time. Like, comment, and subscribe.